Hey guys, so the follow up video uh, from when I was doing the one on the uh, HB1B, the U Kits HB1B bag. Uh, this is the first evolution of me um, actually trying to get it packaged up in something I can take out in the park with me or wherever I might head out with it. And uh, this is a 3V gear. Uh, I think this is the Posse Sling bag, I think that's what it's called. Uh, if not, I'll, I'll put a link in the description of uh, what it is and where to get it. Uh, I like these bags. They're really priced uh, really well. Pretty low price point for, for people who are just wanting to get into, you know, this type of bag. It's not like a Maxpedition or, or, or any of, the, of those big name brands, but I like them. They're very well priced and for what I use them for, they're pretty durable. So I haven't put anything in a pouch, but, you know, this, just keep in mind that everything is in the bag, the radio and everything. I'm about to show you that too in a minute. And uh, so the, these pouches are empty, so I can still have accessories to go in here. Uh, the back of this bag, uh, this is the shoulder strap. It, it's got uh, some hook and loop, the, the soft side of the Velcro, the, the loop side in here. So you can put a holster or a concealed carry in there if you want to. You can also um, take this over the shoulder strap and you can tuck it down in there and just carry it with this handle, you know. So anyway, I love these bags. So let's uh, get to the meat of the subject here. How I decided, with this evolution anyway, of how I was going to package up this uh, HB1B and accessories. So in the main compartment of the bag, um, we have this box right here. Right. So anyway, I got this case at Walmart, and it is a uh, it's an outdoor product. So it's their brand. It's uh, the water was called the Watertight Case Large, and it's got a divider in it and anything. And and I will. Um, put a picture of the tag that I got as well. If I can find a link for this on their website, I'll put a I'll put the link in there as well. I'm looking at the tags that I took off of the case. It doesn't have the dimensions on there, um, but it does say that it has these corner bumpers. This is just plastic. Uh, it's got a, uh, this is a rubber gear divider inside. Large single latch on the front, right here. One latch. Uh, all those cases come with this little flimsy rubberized. Uh, you could hang it up on something, I guess. But it does have uh, these little plastic um, loops right here. So if you had a strap, you could do that. So without further ado, let's just get inside this kit. So we undo the strap or the buckle. And there we have everything that's inside there. Of course, in the lid, in the lid, you can see that I have the uh, instructions for the uh, the U-Kits. Now this uh, gear divider, it's a thick, it's not stretchy, but it's a pretty thick piece of rubber. And there's channels here on each corner, as well as in here, if you want to put the gear divider in there to uh, keep your stuff separated from, uh, like, this is not going to get mixed up with the, the rest of the radio. So, so far, the only thing that I don't have in the box is uh, the, feed, the coax feed line. But it's not a big deal because I have, you know, some short pieces of coax. And uh, we'll start um, with this since it's in the way. This is the uh, American Morse paddle that I uh, showed the other day. I've got it in there. It's probably the primary for now. Um, this is a, um, a speaker. It's a powered speaker. It's an iHome. You know, it's got the bellows. It expands out too. And it's rechargeable, USB rechargeable. But you don't need, you know, it's, it's powered on right now. So you got that. Uh, I have the uh, LNR Precision Trail Friendly Antenna. Um, and really, you can connect probably a very, very short piece of coax to this from the, to the tuner or the rig, actually, because um, I contacted LNR Precision about this antenna, asked ask about the feed line, and of course, everybody's going to tell you the feed line should be as short as possible. So you got a six foot piece of coax, 10 foot piece of coax, whatever. I ordered some uh, RG316, a 10 foot section of that, and I, th I think that'll roll up just nice on top of this case. So I won't need the tuner with this particular antenna. So uh, think about that when I pull this out. So this is the MTEC ZM2. I'm doing this upside down, guys. I apologize. ZM2 um, tuner. And I put these um, 90 degree connectors on here just for... Um, so, because I noticed that you put a coax straight on it with those connectors, it tends to tip it over. But I figure if I come from the side like this, it won't. So this is just convenience for me. So I have the tuner in there because if I ever just have to use an in-fed wire without, it's not tuned like the uh, the uh, trail friendly here. And then I have the uh, HB1B, 
the UKIDS HP1B rig right here with the, with the uh, built-in uh, street key that somebody kindly added. I still like that. It's pretty cool. And I have in this Altoids 10 with a Ranger band on it. Gotta love Ranger bands. I have have the audio cable to go from the UKIDS to the speaker so that this will power the speaker. Um, I also have the jumper lead that I can if I can use the straight key on the HB1B if so desired. I have a set of earbuds if I don't in the situation where I can't or don't want to use the speaker. And I also have uh, this uh, male to male um, connector here so in case um, in case the uh, cable that I just showed you goes bad to go to the speaker or whatever, I could plug one end into the speaker and the other end right into the radio. And I also have a couple of short pieces of coax um, here. And I think that these would actually probably work if I were to connect one to the uh, to that antenna and one to the radio. I think that would actually, short piece would still be fine. But also to connect from the radio to the tuner. And I got two in there because one is none and two is one you gotta have that type of mentality so all that fits in this little Altoids tin quite comfortably actually just like this so I've got it in there put the Ranger band on it and that's good to go and in this Altoids tin we have the uh, cable for the key here and I was pronouncing this wrong the last time if you can see, let me see if I can get this in a thing without the light reflecting again. I called it a uh, tinny key. They pronounce it the teeny key because it's so small. A teeny key. And um, so that's it. That's everything that fits in this case and it fits in that little posse sling bag. And uh, I put it on the scales and I'll put a picture of that up here too. It weighs just a hair over four pounds. So. It's not super light, but I mean, it is everything you need. Uh, this, there's a battery inside the U-Kits. And uh, so I think that that's not bad. And, it, it'll, and granted, I can't have water or anything in that bag, but I can carry a canteen or a water bottle or if I wanted to. And I have several other bigger bags that all this would fit in as well. But for just a quick walk in a park or for just to grab a bag and throw it in the, in the car to go do a park activation or just do a... Um, um, if at lunchtime break, if I want to go throw an antenna in a tree and, and spend 20 or 30 minutes trying to um, learn Morse code better by getting on the air, it's a perfect bag. You know, it's got everything in it, and, I, and hopefully, although that never happens, hopefully, I won't forget something. So, for now, this is my kit that I plan on using for um, some portable operations. Short port. I'm sorry about the reflection here. Some short portable operations. Oh yeah, one, one thing I didn't mention in the video, and I just, I'm splicing this in the end here. Um, I, I originally wanted some foam or something, but it's so tight in there that um, this stuff really doesn't move. I mean, I don't know if you hear it, but it, it doesn't slide hardly at all. So it's nice and uh, it's not binding on anything, but it's uh, it doesn't bounce around or move around in there and get out of order. So I like that too. And put it back in my pouch here. Zip it up. And here we go. I'm ready to go. Everything I need is right there. Yeah, if you like this, just let me know in the comments what you think. If you got a better solution or um, if there's anything here that you think is redundant or not necessary or could be approved upon, put it in the comments. I, I like that kind of interaction. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Later on.